Hello, everyone, and welcome to ITMO, which stands for Instant Transformation Moment. And here's where we get to spend a few minutes together every week at the same time to experience our spiritual intelligence together. Now, today I want to spend a bit of time before we use the 3Q method to experience our spiritual intelligence. I want to spend a bit of time talking about mindfulness and how spiritual intelligence includes mindfulness and also goes beyond mindfulness. So to do that, I want to share a post with you and read from it a little bit. So just let me find this article. This should be it here. So let me just check that I've got the right article. Right, so you should be seeing an article entitled Beyond Mindfulness to Spiritual Intelligence. Now I'm going to read a little bit from this article so that uh, I can explain how spiritual intelligence includes and exceeds mindfulness. Now you'll find a link to this article in the description of the video above this video. And now, as I wrote here in the article, today, mindfulness is widely used as a form of meditation. One of the advantages of mindfulness is that it can easily be used in the workplace without interfering with work activities. This is an advantage that mindfulness shares with spiritual intelligence. Mindfulness and spiritual intelligence have much in common but there is also a significant difference. Mindfulness is the practice of simply observing your experiences without judgment. Accordingly, mindfulness returns again and again to the object of attention. In other words, to what we're aware of. By doing so without judgment, mindfulness transcends the binding power of any particular object of the ego's attention. This is in contrast to spiritual intelligence, which returns again and again to the subject of attention. Consequently, mindfulness transcends ego content, but spiritual intelligence transcends not only ego content, but also ego identity. Now here's a diagram showing the twin poles of attention, the object pole and the subject pole. And moving on, there's a paragraph here called Beyond Mindfulness. By transcending ego content, mindfulness creates calm and focus. But by going one step further and trans transcend your identity, Esku shifts your, to your true identity as the soul at the subject pole of attention, which not only creates calm and focus, but also gives access to all the qualities and capabilities of your higher self. Spiritual intelligence thus includes and exceeds mindfulness. At times, some people who practice mindfulness can go beyond simply transcending ego content and shift to transcending ego identity, which is the equivalent of spiritual intelligence. However, this shift beyond ego identity is a secondary after effect that may or may not occur while practicing the mindfulness text technique as described by teachers of mindfulness, which is to simply observe experience without judgment. This is in contrast to the practice of spiritual intelligence as described here. In the practice of spiritual intelligence, the shift beyond ego identity is not a secondary byproduct of the practice that may or may not occur. On the contrary, the shift beyond ego identity 
is the very core of the practice of spiritual intelligence and is the primary result of the practice, not a secondary byproduct of the practice that may or may not happen. Therefore, the key distinction between mindfulness and spiritual intelligence remains. Mindfulness is a practice that transcends ego content without transcending ego identity. Although at times mindfulness may result in transcending ego identity, but only secondarily and at random. Whereas spiritual intelligence is a practice that inherently transcends ego identity directly and by design, not as a random and secondary byproduct of the practice, as can sometimes happen in the case of mindfulness. So if you want to read more about this distinction between mindfulness and spiritual intelligence, please uh, use the link in the description above this video, and you can read this article fully. But now I want to go and um, actually do the practice of spiritual intelligence with you using the 3Q method, which is a very rapid method of shifting from ego to soul, transcending ego identity and identifying with uh, the soul. Now there's a few slides I want to show you here to help to make this clearer. Now you sh should be seeing on your screen now a symbol for three dimensions of intelligence, IQ, EQ, and SQ. And this symbol opens out into the twin poles of attention. We have the object pole of attention and the subject pole of attention. At the object pole is everything you're aware of, thoughts, emotions, memories, beliefs, all states of body and mind, everything you can be aware of is located at the, at the object pole of attention. And at the subject pole of attention is simply consciousness itself, which is what we are. Consciousness itself is what is aware of objects of attention. Now I want to show you another slide now, which takes this one step further. Now this slide here is the same as the last slide with the addition of these two words, ego and soul. And that's because ego is the result of identifying with objects of attention, identifying with our thoughts and emotions. Whereas the soul is the result of identifying with consciousness itself. So when we're identified with consciousness itself, we're being the soul. And when we're identified with our thoughts and emotions, we're being the ego. So the key question is, how do you shift from ego to soul? Because that's how you activate your spiritual intelligence. Now, fortunately, there's a very rapid method of doing that, of shifting from ego to soul. And it's called the 3Q method. And this is what we're going to do now together to experience our spiritual intelligence together. And the key is to find how to go through this mechanism of attention, which is what connects ego and soul. So let's have a look at this mechanism. There's a very, very rapid way through this mechanism that is composed of three steps. And these steps are as follows. Notice, feel, and be. Now in a moment, I want to describe to you how to complete these three steps so that you can experience spiritual intelligence. Now, when you get expert at these steps, you can do it in a second or less, but it'll take us a little bit longer 
because today, because I'm going to describe these three steps to you. And when you complete these three steps, then you shift from ego to soul, from false self to true self, which is what activates your spiritual intelligence. So let me now describe these three steps. So step one is notice. And that simply means to notice the twin poles of attention, which is to remind yourself of our basic operating system, which is composed of these twin poles of attention. So simply notice the fact that what you're aware of is at the object pole, and awareness itself, which is what we are, is at the subject pole. So that's step one, notice. Now feel is the next step. And feel is about feeling what it's like at the subject pole as consciousness itself. And for this step, we use a breathing technique. So bring your attention now to your breathing. Just notice that when you've finished breathing in, there's a slight pause before you start breathing out. This is a natural pause in the breathing cycle, and it's important not to hold your breath. Just notice that there is a pause in your breathing when you, when you finish breathing in. So just find that pause now. So each time you breathe in and you come to the end of breathing in, there's a slight pause in the breathing before you start breathing out. Just find that pause. Did you find that pause in the breathing? Remember, just breathe normally and don't hold your breath at the end of the in-breath. It's a natural pause. Okay, now feel what it feels like in that pause in the breathing. How does it feel in that pause in the breathing at the end of the in-breath? feels peaceful, doesn't it? Can you feel that peace there in that still point? Just check it out again. Just breathe in, find that pause at the end of the in-breath when you're neither breathing in or breathing out and feel what it feels like there in that pause. Feels peaceful, doesn't it? That's because the thinking has paused for a moment. When the breathing pauses, the thinking pauses, and there, therefore you feel peaceful because it's the thinking that introduces any disturbance. Just find that peaceful feeling again in that pause in the breathing. Okay, and now we that's step two, feel. We have a further step to go, step three, which is B. So let's, so, so let's first go back to step two, find that peaceful feeling in the still point in the breathing, and then I'll lead us to step three. So find that peaceful feeling at the end of the in-breath. And when you find that peaceful feeling there at the end of the in-breath, move to step three and be that peaceful feeling, 
which simply means to allow the peaceful feeling to go all over your body and mind. So take a look around now. Just notice that you're now being consciousness itself. You're being the field of consciousness. And whatever you are aware of is simply an object in the field. You'll notice that thoughts and emotions can resume even while you're being consciousness itself. And you can continue to be consciousness itself, even while thoughts and emotions continue to arise, because you're no longer identified with your thoughts and emotions. You're aware of them, but you're not identified with them. You're identified with consciousness itself, the soul. So you see, thinking is not something that prevents you being the soul. Thinking is just an activity that you can allow to continue while you're being consciousness itself. Thinking doesn't distract you from being consciousness itself because you're now identified with your thoughts now. You're identified with consciousness itself. So this is called using your spiritual intelligence. Now you can perform these three steps very rapidly when you get used to them in a second or less. So I hope you'll experiment with this technique during the day, whenever you remember to. And prove to yourself that by using this 3Q method, these three steps, you're able to activate your spiritual intelligence in any moment. So this is a very useful technique because you can combine it with any activity. In other words, you can use your spiritual intelligence in association with anything. And this is how you bring the power of spirit into association with the body and mind. And this is how you use your spiritual intelligence in association with any activity. So please experiment with this during the day. And there's a video which goes into this in more detail, which you can find by clicking the link in the description above this video. Now, of course, we're doing this practice together for our own benefit, but we're also doing it as a contribution to global awakening. Now you might ask, well, how does that work? Well, it's simply because when we practice as a group, we're actually contributing to collective consciousness. We're contributing a new pathway to collective consciousness. And everyone is connected to collective consciousness. And so we're emphasizing a pathway that other people can begin to use. It'll make it easier for others to experience spiritual intelligence the more that we practice this technique because we're contributing a new method that everyone can benefit from. So we're doing this not just for our own benefit, but for the benefit of the whole world. Because the more people who can feel beyond their ego and connect to their soul, the more world conditions will move in a positive direction. So I hope you'll join us again next week at the same time, Wednesday at 12 noon, London time, 
when we'll practice spiritual intelligence together for the sake of personal and collective transformation. So I'll say goodbye now, and I hope to see you next week. But please do practice this method between now and then. Notice, feel, and be. And discover for yourself that you can activate your spiritual intelligence in any moment that you choose. This is a great discovery and something that you can use for the rest of your life. So I'll say goodbye for now. Bye-bye.